For the best in eyewear, call Dr. Leak's Optometry. In this week's court report, Anne-Marie Landberg, the former area teacher charged on January 4, 2018, with unlawful contact with a child, a gross misdemeanor, was finally formally arrested on July 20, 2018. According to Landberg's declaration of arrest, on that date, Landberg was instructed by Judge Wonker to report to the Nye County Detention Center Pahrump to be booked and released on the charge of contact with a minor or mentally ill person, first offense, gross misdemeanor. This took place during Landberg's sentencing hearing in district court. Also during that proceeding, the court reviewed the case history and reviewed the sentencing recommendations of the Division of Parole and Probation set forth in the PSI report. The court adjudicated the defendant as guilty after Landberg previously made a guilty plea agreement. Defense addressed the court and followed the recommendations. The defendant did not want to address the court at that time. Then Landberg was sentenced to a total of $1,028 in fines, 364 days in D.C. suspended, and three years probation, with all the special terms and conditions. After sentencing, that's when Landberg was booked into the system. Landberg entered a previously arranged guilty plea agreement during her first appearance in district court for her arraignment hearing. During that proceeding, Landberg was present while in custody. The court canvassed the defendant, outlined the guilty plea agreement, and the maximum possible sentence. Landberg pleaded guilty and waived her constitutional rights to trial. Then Landberg addressed the court and apologized for her actions at that time. Nye County's school district superintendent confirmed with News 46 that Landberg worked as a substitute from February 8, 2017 to October 6, 2017. The acts Landberg committed occurred between September 1, 2017 and October 6, 2017. Now an update on the scheduled sentencing of Brian Patrick Hearn. During that previously set proceeding, attorney Jonathan Nelson was present for the defendant who is in custody. Notably, defense thought Hearn was at the Nye County Detention Center, but he is in high desert and no request was made to produce the prisoner. So the court continued this matter to August 24th. Also noted during that scheduled proceeding, the victims will not be testifying. Hearn was also recently in district court for what was supposed to be sentencing and to answer to the new charges he's facing connected to his previous formal charges of lewdness with a child under 14 and a laundry list of other related charges connected to being accused of assaulting two female minors. Hearn's wife and now co-defendant Crystal Hearn's case is also now bound over to district court after she agreed to a guilty plea. Crystal Hearn admitted that she told both minor females to lie about the sexual allegations against Hearn not being true. This has been your court report. I'm Unette Gentry for News 46.